ever pondered about the ancient historians who shaped our understanding of the past. Today, we're peeling back the pages of time to the first century BC and meeting Diodorus of Sicily. This forgotten historian penned a staggering 40-volume historical library, each page a testament to the marvels of ancient civilizations. Diodorus's work was a treasure trove of knowledge, from the arts and toolmaking to the cultivation of the soil and the production of wine. Diodorus's writings offer a unique window into the past, but who exactly was this man? Born in Sicily, Diodorus journeyed across the ancient world, gathering stories and knowledge. A wanderer at heart, he set foot in Egypt, immersing himself in its rich culture and history. With the meticulousness of a true historian, he compared ancient dates with his own experiences, painstakingly assembling information. His travels were more than just geographical. They were a journey through time, an exploration of humanity's past. His journey led him to craft a comprehensive history, but what did he discover? In his writings, Diodorus paints a vivid picture of ancient civilizations. He guides us through the fog of time, revealing a world where divine rulers reigned supreme, where gods and heroes held sway over the fertile lands of Egypt. These celestial beings, Diodorus believed, were not just rulers, but educators, teaching the early humans the secrets of survival and civilization. He described a time when the gods introduced the arts, mining, and the manufacture of tools. They educated the people on cultivation of the soil, transforming them from mere survivors into cultivators, fostering a relationship with the earth that nourished them. They taught them the art of winemaking, adding layers to their existence beyond mere survival. And perhaps most importantly, they gifted humanity with language and writing, equipping them with the tools to share their stories, their history. Diodorus's history provides a captivating glimpse into the past, reminding us of the ancient world's enduring influence on our own.